to love more than you thought was possible. I love that. Because we're always seeking that in love feeling and wanting to be loved and loved and that whole... Oh. <laughs> and that's exactly what you find in each short moment. Every time you just rest mind and body and you don't describe what is going on, what the thought is or the emotion or the sensation or the experience, but you simply allow it to be exactly as it is, then there's that, that complete ease, <coughs> that self-love, allowing you to be you, allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. Simply experiencing the, the flow of life, the flow of love, because that's really what it is. And so to get to know this love, to get to know who we really are, we can simply stop thinking for a moment. Without following any train of thought. And in that moment, you just sense there's something about you that's completely open, stable, clear, vast, and at ease. That love, that open intelligence, always on, shining through your eyes. And then naturally the thoughts come back. Like, how can I stop thinking? Like, what does love feel like? What is open intelligence? What is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> How can that pain in my toe or stomach be love? Doesn't make sense. But all the thoughts and the emotions and the sensations and the experiences, we term as data in, in balanced view to keep it really simple. And all it is is this dynamic energy of open intelligence. It's this unstoppable energy. Data, they, they really are unpredictable. They're countless, they're ceaseless, and they're just so spontaneous. We never know what's going to come up next in the very moment in our, in our life, in our day-to-day -day life. We never know what's going to come up next. But we can simply relax and allow each moment each datum to be exactly as it is. The data that, that are arising are completely inseparable from this ease of being, inseparable from, from this love, inseparable from open intelligence. Like the color blue in sky, or like the color gray in sky <laughs> in Bristol. <laughs> you can't separate one without the other. Or like breeze and air. You just know that you can't separate them. And that's the same with open intelligence and data. And so we're just becoming familiar with that, with our, with our true nature, which is simply this, um, yeah, this expression of pure benefit, power and love. Now, we've never been told that before. I was never told that when, when I was growing up, that... You're powerful, you're beneficial, and you're pure love. Always thought we had to find that or cultivate that in some way. But simply by resting in your power of great benefit, by allowing everything to be as it is, you get to know this beneficial potency that you are. You get to know the, the power that you hold, this immense responsibility, how you can really be of benefit to yourself and others. So if anger comes up, which is a great one, because I'm sure we've all had road rage, whether we're on a bike or a car, a skateboard, I don't know, anything, walking. Um, wow, that anger can just <laughs> spontaneously <laughs> arise. But here, you've got such a powerful tool to take responsibility. When you feel that anger 
and that urge to, to react. Simply rest right there in that very moment, allowing it to be as it is without describing why or what I need to do or who's wrong or really rest and allow the descriptions to, to self-release like a line drawn in water. And right there in that moment, you can see what is of most benefit. What would be the most beneficial way to, to act, to say something or not say something? And there is no special formula or rule book. It really is moment by moment. And that's what you start to, to see, that you are this um, open-ended benefit creator, this open-ended knowledge creator. And in every single moment, you have that opportunity to really see what is of most benefit, what is the best way that I can be in the situation to support or serve or empower myself and others. Sometimes it is to, 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 to say something, but with a, just a direct, clear, um, powerful way for the benefit of all, not for because I'm right, but for the benefit of all. And so you, you get to, to see that in your own experience, really test it out. And if you do happen to really <laughs> shout, and that's also the perfect opportunity to rest and allow that shame and guilt to be exactly as it is. All of it is really this, this wish to be of benefit. All the negative data that we're trying to get rid of, they are really powerful because that is where we see this incredible mental and emotional stability <coughs> always on unwavering, inexhaustible stability. And I've seen that in my own life with extreme negativity, things going wrong in my life and my health and just the overwhelm of um, affliction. But relying on the four mainstays, resting deeply in your power of great benefit, short moments, repeatedly until it becomes continuous. And then coming to open meetings, joining clarity calls, reading the text, copying out the texts, listening to downloads, joining trainings, being with the community, being in touch with your trainer. These, these mainstays, these, the support system is just unbelievable. Such an empowerment and, and such a confirmation of your natural perfection amidst incredible negativity and affliction. It's just a confirmation that all is well and that you can allow everything to be as it is, that open intelligence and, and your complete well-being is completely unaffected. That your, your sky-like nature, this vast expanse that has no beginning or end, that is all, um, all embracing, it's complete love is inexhaustible, indestructible. So just as the sky embraces everything that goes on in the sky, thunder, lightning, supernova, I don't know, tornadoes, anything, that sky is never scratched. There's never a piece of sky that falls down, never harmed. And that's the same with our true nature, with our fundamental identity this open intelligence, never harmed by anything that's going on. And that's what we, we're getting to know about ourselves. <coughs> Just how incredibly powerful and potent we really are, that we can, we can face anything. And especially with the support of the Four Mainstays, it just takes us all the way to really a life of flourishing and, and 
complete satisfaction. Flowering, shining, shining just as, as we are. These beautiful suns, powerful, beneficial suns. Everybody just so rich with your strengths, gifts and talents and passions and wish to be of benefits and how you can allow all the data to be as it is and contribute from just this wholeheartedness, <laughs> contributing everything that you are. And, and that is just um, yeah, such a powerful example in this world how we can really collaborate, live together, and um, empower one another to be the best that we can be and really benefit <coughs> this planet, benefit ourselves and benefit everybody, all beings. Just by being the demonstration of um, yeah, complete relaxation in every moment, being ourselves. And so whether we're really outgoing or <laughs> uh, however you are, completely fine. You know, whether you're an extrovert or whether you're an introvert, completely fine. Just remain as you are. There's such a power in just being you. You don't need to be anything else but you. <coughs> And, um, yeah, that's really what we're discovering about ourselves, the, the, the jewel that we are. Yeah. And just to say, in allowing yourself to be exactly as you are, and allowing each datum to be as it is in such an open-heartedness and, and, and a gentleness that really is um, yeah, self-love, real love. When you get to know yourself so completely, so intimately, profoundly intimately, you get to know all data, you know, the, the desire, the attraction, everything that comes up. And it's all happening in you, not due to some, someone else or something else. Or It's all happening in you, this dynamic energy, the expression of pure love. And so I invite you to get to know that about yourselves. Get to know the perfect love that you are without trying to seek or, f or find it somewhere else. Because I've seen in my direct experience that, um, yeah, I've, I've just never been happier <laughs> and more in love. <laughs> really. Love is not limited to one person or a little family unit. It's so expansive. It's for the world and beyond. And you really feel that. Such a heart-to-heart -heart love with each being because you when you start to see yourself as open intelligence and simply experiencing data, not limited by data, you, you are just so connected to every being. All data that you feel is the data that everybody else feels. Simply this expression of love, that's all it is. That's all that's going on. And so there's such a, there's such a sweetness and a, and a and an intimacy, a closeness with every being that your heart just wants to burst, <laughs> burst open more and more and more and more <laughs> overwhelming love because that, that is who we are and it's so powerful to really allow each datum to be as it is, even the, the hatred, the anger, you know, everything that we see on the news that brings up so much data. When you allow that to be as it is and you rest there, you're resting for all, all people. You're feeling everything deeply for all people going through 
horrendous things and you're feeling it deeply and you're knowing that when you rest in your complete perfect love, you're resting for everybody. And, and that, um, that recognition, that love, it just ripples out and it touches everybody in unimaginable ways.